Alrighty, what you see before you here are all the necessary ingredients to make rabbit skin glue. Rabbit skin glue is the traditional glue that has been used for centuries. There might have been some other types of different glues, but it's usually an animal skin, animal cartilage glue. Anyway, that's not important. We have it here. Now, the purpose of, an, of uh, rabbit skin glue is to protect the raw canvas. Okay, you put it over the raw canvas, and it does a few things. Well, two things, mainly. It protects the fibers of the raw canvas from the acids in the oils. Uh, otherwise, the uh, canvas would eventually rot. Not sure how long it would take, but it would eventually rot. It also starts reducing the absorbency of the canvas. You don't want to paint on a very absorbent canvas unless you really want a chalky, matty look. Anyway, that's not what we're going to be after here. And let me just urge you, please, I beg you, to try doing this. This is not complicated stuff. It's pouring a spoonful of something into water, a spoonful of something that looks like sand into water. Okay, now, I had a class on this. I knew about this before. I had done it before, but I have never seen it taught in class anywhere, in any school uh, that I studied for five years, it, it was never taught anywhere. No one even mentioned the word rabbit skin glue. No one mentioned glue or anything. But I did find a class. It was a, an evening class once a week with an uh, artist who was deceased now. His name was Furman Fink. Um, and if anybody out there has, oh, I don't want to do that or I'm too old for this, this man was teaching this class and doing this when he was just over 90 years old. I think he was 91 or 92, I can't remember exactly. But he was doing this. So there's no excuse. It's that simple. If you could uh, make chicken stock, this is easier. Uh, this is as easy as opening up a can of like Campbell's, Campbell's soup or something, okay? Now let's get to it, okay? We need a, a certain proportions. I have it measured out. Now let me just also state, I'm not an exact person. I don't want. I must every time use a cup of water to. No, no, no. I I do it by my eye. I look at it. I just sometimes I'll use a little more. Sometimes I'll use a little less. It doesn't have to be perfect. I have measured out the proportion, the general proportion I'm going to give you. You should use probably um, between one and a half cups to two cups of water with a tablespoon of rabbit skin glue, just in case. Here, let me just show you what rabbit skin glue looks like. It looks like uh, sand, basically, like brown sand. Maybe the flakes are a little bigger. It's not as grainy. It's little flat flakes. Kind of like oatmeal, almost, if you want to think of it like that. Oops, I'm spilling it on my table. Get back in here. Okay, not important. We'll clean that up later. Now, very simple. What we're going to do here, watch this very complicated process now. Pour the water in. That's, a, that's one cup, I pre-measured it, not to waste time here. Make it easier for myself, too. And here's another half cup measured out. There we go, done with that. Let's take a tablespoon of this glue. Da, 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 da. That's about a tablespoon. All right, dump it in, stir it around. Now, what we do is we wait. We wait for the glue to start, to start soaking the water up taking on the water, the glue will come into like a jelly looking mass. And then we will heat it up, either in a double boiler. Uh, I like doing it in the sink myself. I put it in just a bath of hot water in the sink, stir it around, dissolve it. We'll have a nice brown soupy looking thing. Not soupy as far as thickness, soupy as far as like a chicken stock looking color. And I'll show you that step next. Uh, let me just mention rabbit skin glue. If you live in a large city uh, and you have a very large art store, you might be able to find it there. If not, if you live in a smaller uh, town, rural area, you will probably have to order it online. Okay? Let's wait until this soaks up and I'll get back to you. What you see here is the rabbit skin glue that we made before in our we just uh, boiler type of thing. I just have a 
pan with some water that I'm heating up over the stove and I'm dissolving the mixture after letting it sit and soak up the, uh, the glue soaked up the water for about 15 minutes to a half an hour in that range. Just one thing I want to mention is you never want this mixture to boil, okay? Do not get it that hot. You just want to start it, um, start it to get a little warm because the glue will dissolve easier when the uh, water has been warmed, okay? Do not let this boil ever. It's not how it's supposed to work. It'll break down all the properties of the glue. It will not come out right. Okay, just warm it up to dissolve it. Then, when that's done, we will take it off the double boiler, let it cool, put it in the fridge, and it will turn into a jelly. And uh, I'll show you that process also later, too. Okay?